Bob Jensen, this is Fishing in the Midwest. Thanks for stopping by. We're headed to Alexandria, Minnesota today for two reasons. First of all, we want to catch some walleyes. Second of all, we're going to find out why there are so many walleyes in the lakes around Alexandria, Minnesota. They got a real aggressive stocking program. First, let's catch some. Here we go. Alexandria area of Minnesota is situated perfectly for lots of anglers to take advantage of it. Alexandria is about halfway between the Twin Cities and Fargo and is right off Interstate 94. And while it might be an easy place to get to, the fishing is still very, very good for a wide variety of fish species. Back in the day, whenever we wanted to try a new technique or lure for largemouth bass, or whenever we wanted to entertain some outdoor riders, we headed for Alexandria. And I also fished a good number of walleye tournaments on the chain in Alexandria. The walleye fishing in the Alexandria area was good back then, and you know what? It's even better now. We'll talk about why it's better today later. For now, let's get out on the lake. It's a blustery day in mid-October. Chuck Pakinski is sharing his boat with Joe Segura and me. We're pulling jigs, tippet minnows. Chuck puts one on the boat first. Any size, Chuck? Yeah. Swinger or netter? I can swing it. You can swing it? I think so. Okay. <laughs> How deep was that, Joe? 22 feet. Northern pipe. Northern pipe. We played him very well. <laughs> Chuck's been living and fishing in the Alexandria area for a good number of years. He's an outstanding angler. And he's also contributed so much to the area of fishing in the form of helping to ramrod an aggressive walleye stocking program. Chuck will tell us about that a little later. Grab the yeah. net, Joe. Here, I'll grab the net. It's not that I need it. You hit it hard? It is the right species. It is? No, that's a walleye. Yeah. I said it is the right species. <laughs> oh, I thought you were fishing birds. <laughs> that's a nice one. How deep was that, Joe? 26 feet. Was it really? Well, that's a nice one. Absolutely. Good eating size fish. You want to keep some of those? Yeah. Might as well. Yep. Joe Segura is a guide in the area. He fishes for whatever swims, but I think if he had to choose a favorite fish, it would probably be walleye. Joe knows the lakes in the Alexandria area really well, and he also knows what it takes to get those fish to bite at any time of the year. Bob, on opener, we'll probably start with a jig and a minnow, um, rig, a, rig and a minnow, and uh, move slow. Slow is the key, and uh, as the year goes on, you know, the summer, get into June, um, start going into a lot of bobber rigs and um, uh, again, uh, live bait rigs with maybe more like a leech. We switch over, or switch away from the minnows, um, and all, all, all summer long, uh, leeches and crawlers are great, and the, the presentations get faster and faster. Uh, then as we get colder, water temps start dropping, we switch back to the minnows, jigging and minnow, and start going slow again. And as the water temps drop, uh, you know, uh, crankbaits work well up in shallow, and uh, everything just, just slow it down and uh, and now you're in the winter and you kind of start it all over in that game next spring. Next it was my turn to get bit. Nice fish. Nice walleye. All right. Whoa, really a nice one. Look at that nice guy. Nice fish, Bob. Look at that guy. It's a good looking fish right there. Yeah. What's that, probably about 24 maybe? I don't know. He whacked it pretty good though. He thumped it, you had it right yeah, at the bottom? Yeah. Really, That's... they like the snow. <laughs> Snowing on us. And... That was a nice one. And walleyes that size are pretty common in the lakes around Alexandria. Joe explains why. It's getting more and more common to see that uh, wide variety of fish in these lakes. Uh, you know, years ago, before Viking Sportsman was uh, stocking so many fish in these lakes, uh, you'd see big, you know, large gaps. You'd have, uh, you know, a good year class of 13 and 18 inch fish. Now you go out on a particular lake and being there, you know, actively stocking every year, we'll see almost every inch class. Uh, and it's, it's nice, you just never know what you're gonna catch. Uh, eater or big one, it's, they're all great. 
The weather was interesting, but the fish were biting. When we come back, the weather is much better and the walleyes continue to bite. Stay tuned. Fishing the Midwest is brought to you by Impulse. Excite the bite with scent, color, and action. Fraybill, trusted gear since 1938. WalleyeLeather.com. If you are a truly rabid walleye person, you should have already had this stuff. Dakota Grills, unleash your inner chef. Hi, Austin. You got Harvick on the inside and the Ferguson family riding hot behind you. The who? Ferguson's beige minivan. And they're late for a soccer game, so if you could, get a move on. NASCAR is powered by a blend of 15% American ethanol. Man, those Ferguson's are fast. E15 is made for your car, too. Try not to let it go to your head. Learn more about the benefits of E15 at American Ethanol's Facebook page. Focused, driven, and engineered to excel. This is the all-new Ranger Z520C. From the total performance hull to a revolutionary interior design, it's our most advanced bass boat to date. Combined with Evinrude E-Tech's power, performance, and 300 hours with no dealer schedule maintenance, this is a level of leadership that's easy to see and hard to follow. Experience more with Evinrude. Impulse Soft Baits. 143% more effective than the competition. And the best alternative to live bait. Unique colors, actions, scent. Impulse soft plastics catch more fish, period. Lake Cabotogoma in Voyagers National Park is your year-round destination for experiencing nature at its finest. Enjoy the solitude of the pristine wilderness while having all the comforts of home available at the many full-service resorts. The fishing is world class. So are all the other outdoor activities that are abundant in all the seasons. Cab is the perfect place for your family or group of friends. And Cab is an easy drive from anywhere in the Midwest. Cabotogama Lake in Northern Minnesota. Discover Cab now. Welcome back to Fishing the Midwest. It's the second day of our trip to Alexandria, Minnesota. The weather is beautiful and the walleyes are biting. Here we go. The next day it's just Chuck and me. Joe had other plans and Chuck had another lake he wanted to try. There are so many good lakes in the area around Alexandria, you can almost always find one that's producing. We got on the water early, it was calm, the air was crisp but really nice, and the fish were eating. Hopefully this is the right kind. Is it? I'll get the net. Does he feel okay, Chuck? Yep. Some flesh down there. Hike. Ooh, nice that one, isn't it? Ooh. That one, isn't it? Yeah. I got one out here at 12, really? 14 pounds the other day. You're really? Yeah. The good thing is, Gary Roach told me at one time, where there's fish, there's fish. Gary made a lot of sense. That guy is just a nice, hefty one, isn't he? Nice pike. Yeah, it is. Nice northern pike. These are such diverse waters, you'll get walleyes, pike, bass, and panfish all off the same weed line. We moved a little further along and Chuck did it again. See there? Get the net, Bob. Okay. Feels like a good one. Does it? I like good ones. It is a nice one. That is a good one. It is a good one. Yeah, that's a quality of fish we've been catching out here. Now, Chuck, day in, day out, regardless of species, if you just want to catch fish, what would you do? It'd be a jig and a minnow. Yeah. I have a jig and a minnow in the boat all year long. Get up on the top, off the drops, throw it up in the... Drag her back to the boat nice and slow. That's a good eater. Absolutely. And there's a lot of them in here now.
Let's take a break from the fishing to make a run to Cabela's and Rogers. It's just a short drive east in I-94. Megan, I'm always impressed with the number of boots and footwear selections there are at Cabela's. Mm -hmm. If I want something to really keep me warm in extreme conditions, what do you suggest? I would suggest the Cabela's Predator Extreme Pack Boot right here. How come? Um, it's a 1200 gram boot with a 9 millimeter textile removable liner, so it gives you a little bit more added warmth. It's a pack boot? Yes. So there's a thing inside? Yep. Th and that adds warmth? Yes, that liner is going to give you a little bit more warmth. It's good on ice? Yes, it's great for ice fishing. How come? Because um, on the pack boot you're going to have insulation below your foot, where in a regular hunting boot you're not. So you can stand outside for a longer period of time without your toes getting cold. Are they heavy? They're not really that heavy at all. You don't notice a lot of difference versus with a this versus a traditional boot? No, I mean, a hunting boot's going to be a little bit lighter, um, but, you know, for a, a traditional pack boot, it is much lighter than the olden um, pack boots that they used to have. And what's this material up here? That is a full grain leather. It is. Mm -hmm. Does that need to be treated? Yes. What do you do? Um, you'd put an open off leather balm on there. Yep. Um, and just rub it into the leather. Uh, let it soak in. The warmth of your hands will soak it in nicely into the leather. But for extreme conditions, this is what you suggest. Mm -hmm. It's the Cabela's Predator Extreme Pack Boot. It's only available at Cabela's. Stop by and come see us. Good stuff. The best advice and products are what you can expect at Cabela's, and outstanding fishing is what you can expect in the Alexandria, Minnesota area. This is just such a nice time of year. The trees are in full color. The weather is usually very pleasant. There's lots of animals around. This is just a great time to be in the water. I especially like it when I get to catch a fish. Got one, fish. So it feels okay too, Chuck. Okay, I'll get the net. Oh, nice, nice walleye. Oh, oh that's a good one, Bob. Take your time, I take your know. time. Bring him up here to the net. Bring him up here. Turn it, Chuck. There we go. Look at there. That's a good one, <laughs> oh, buddy. Man. I know it. I know it. Will you take him off the hook for me? I don't like to touch fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That's a 22, 23, maybe a 24 inch. Boy, I like that net. Oh, boy. I like that fish. Look at that guy. Yeah, that, that that's one a, came on a yeah, that's chartreuse a nice one. fireball. Yeah, look at that guy. That's a nice one. That's Ooh. a good fish. That's a good one. That's I like that one. He whacked yep. it good. Yep. In the fall, when you're after walleyes, it's hard to beat a jig. I'm almost always going to have a fireball jig in my line when I'm jigging with live bait. Today I'm using a quarter ounce fireball on six or seven or eight pound test bionic walleye line. We're tipping the jig with about a four inch shiner. You know, even when it's a little chilly, those shiners need additional care. The aerated bait containers that Fraybill produces do an outstanding job of keeping your bait healthy and in a fish catching mood year round. Chuck gave me his thoughts on using a jig. Bob, I truly believe that uh, the jig weight, lighter the better. Just so you're tickling the bottom, you can pull it up through the weeds. Uh, a lot of these fish are tucked up in the weeds and you pull through the weeds and try to stay above them a little bit. Keep the speed of the boat moving so that you're just tickling the top of those weeds and drop down into those pockets. Let it sit there sometimes. You see some fish on the depth finder, pop it in there and pop it around. And if you do get a bite and miss it, a lot of times I'll give it an erratic jerk or two and set her right back down there. And those fish will come back and attack it. As far as color, it depends upon the lake, depends upon the sunshine. I found lately I use a lot more of the darker jigs. And the phosphorescent, if I'm fishing a little bit deeper and the water's turned up, but when it flattens out like this, the dark ones are definitely the way to go. Boy, now this is an outstanding walleye bite. When we come back, we'll take a look at why there are so many walleyes in the lakes around Alexandria, Minnesota. Stay tuned. Fishing the Midwest is presented by Northland Fishing Tackle, made by fishermen for fishermen. Cabela's, it's in your nature. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Growth Energy, America's ethanol supporters. 
Lake Cabotogama in Voyagers National Park is your year-round destination for experiencing nature at its finest. Enjoy the solitude of the pristine wilderness while having all the comforts of home available at the many full-service resorts. The fishing is world-class. So are all the other outdoor activities that are abundant in all the seasons. Cab is the perfect place for your family or group of friends, and Cab is an easy drive from anywhere in the Midwest. Cabotogama Lake in northern Minnesota. Discover Cab now. Specialty Marine service is their specialty. The Bruggen Peace family has been in the boat business for almost 35 years. For performance and reliability, you can't beat a Ranger boat team with an Evinrude motor. Their staff knows exactly how to rig your boat for maximum pleasure. Al Specialty Marine also has premier pontoons and a wide variety of other boats that will fit your needs. Al Specialty Marine will do an outstanding job of taking care of all your boating needs. Al Specialty Marine, stop on by. Al Specialty Marine. Evinrude E-Tech has been outperforming four-stroke engines for years. But what about the latest 150 four-strokes that claim to deliver two-stroke-like torque? See the proof for yourself. Get your free DVD now and watch how the two-stroke Evinrude E-Tech 150 outpulls and out-accelerates the four-stroke competition. See how it wins when it comes to maintenance, ease of winterization, and more. Evinrude E-Tech is the true champion. Go to Evinrude150challenge.com and get your free DVD now. Impulse Soft Baits. 143% more effective than the competition. And the best alternative to live bait. Unique colors, actions, scent. Impulse Soft Plastics catch more fish, period. Welcome back to Fishing the Midwest. The lakes around Alexandria, Minnesota are full of a wide variety of fish. Here's a reason there's so many walleyes in these lakes. Oh, here's a fish. Good hook set, Bob. Oh, man. Feels like another decent fish. Need the net? But yeah, there he is right there. I don't know what he is. He's swimming around kind of fast. Yeah, oh, it's a walleye. Just an eater. Oh, nice eater. Nice eater. Yeah, that's a good fish. Absolutely. Good fish. There's so many of these fish in here right now. Hey, any fish I catch is a good fish. <laughs> yeah, how come there, Chuck, you've been really involved in the stocking efforts here in the Alexandria area. These guys right here are the result of those efforts, aren't they? Yes, they are. In a combined effort with the DNR, we put in, a, buffered their stocking program, and these fish are showing up. There's uh 14 inch fish, there's these fish, and then there's some 18, 19 inch fish, and we've been stocking these lakes for five years now. Chuck and a bunch of other folks have been instrumental in keeping these waters full of walleyes through an aggressive and effective stocking program. Here's a bit about that program. So Chuck, you and the Viking Sportsman Group and the DNR have been pretty aggressive in the past several years putting fish in the lakes, putting stocking walleyes. Why is that important to you? It's important to buffer. The DNR the last few years uh, with their cutbacks um, in their fundings and stuff, they haven't been able to keep up. And with the stocking efforts that we put in, we put in so many walleyes in here now that uh, it's really made a difference. It's been five years we've been doing it and we're really starting to see the fish here now. Natural reproduction cannot keep up. You were telling me that the various lake associations are really behind this effort as well. That's right, Bob. They are really behind this. Um, we've been match funding with money that we raise with the Viking Sportsmen, with the lake associations, and they're all participating. We've done 21 different lakes in the last five years, and 18 of them we've done for 
the last three years. 